Fun. Yeah, it's pretty. pretty. So pretty. Yeah, I don't run, so mm -hmm. that wouldn't be for me. Well, but you could do the cherry blossom it. walk, right? Yeah, I just <laughs> walk through them. Looks nice, but not mm -hmm. no cherry blossoms up here. We're gonna see a winter wonderland. This yes, weekend. and you know, I think for a lot of us, this is gonna be a storm of convenience. You yes. can kind of sit back and just. Mm -hmm. Relax. We'll be here Sunday morning. I'm excited. I volunteered to go out in the snow. I always Good. say I like the snow, so mm -hmm. I'm right. eating my words. <laughs> we, have, we have team coverage coming up Sunday morning. And you yes. can just kind of, folks at home, yeah, can you sit inside and we'll sit be inside, here. inside, cup of coffee, and just uh, watch the snow come down. You can watch us as well. But you know what? We need cold air, Amanda, for a snowstorm. We have it. Look at that. We're 15 now in Springfield and plenty of cold air aloft as well. So when this storm system moves in, it's going to start as snow, and because the storm takes the appropriate path tracking to ourself. It's going to stay all snow here in Western Mass in most of southern New England. All right, right now we're at 15. Uh, we have a clear sky out there. It's going to lead to tons of sunshine. So at least that's good, right? A lot of blue sky and sunshine. And it's not like it's deep Arctic cold air. It isn't. We have temperatures this afternoon that will be seasonable. We're going to come up into the mid 30s. There'll be a little bit of a pesky breeze to so make it feel just a little bit colder. We start clear tonight. Clouds increase later on. Temperatures slide into the upper teens and lower 20s. We're dry all day during the daylight hours of tomorrow. It's well after dark, probably after dinner time, that snow will start to move in tomorrow night. So right now we have plenty of clear sky. Our area of low pressure is still organizing across the southwest, across Texas. It's going to slide to the east. It'll pick up some Gulf of Mexico moisture pick up some Atlantic moisture and then track south of Long Island and south of the Cape tomorrow night and on into Sunday. So this is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll have a little bit of dim sunshine out there. It's cold and then a gray afternoon. It's going to look like it wants to snow. It's going to feel like snow and then it's going to snow tomorrow night starting sometime between about 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. There may be a few flurries before that. There may be a couple of snow showers along the shoreline with that northeasterly flow starting to pick up just a bit. And then tomorrow night, it looks as though we'll have steady snow, steady moderate to heavy snow moving in. It's going to be, it uh, looks like a front loader. So the bulk of the heaviest snow comes in the first half. And then during the day on Sunday, it'll still be snowing, but it'll be lighter in nature and then wind down probably by mid to late afternoon. Uh, the breeze will start to pick up as well, not damage or, any, or anything like that for us. It'll come in out of the northeast, hence a nor'easter, and it'll blow up to about 20, 25 miles per hour. This is Sunday morning at 7 a.m. It's still snowing, but at that point, maybe starting to lighten up and becoming a little bit more off and on as we go into Sunday afternoon, winding down as snow showers, then the system will move on out. So snow starts tomorrow night, Saturday night between 7 and 10 p.m. All snow, heavy at times, but not that heavy wet snow. So, you know, it should be fairly easy to move around. It's not going to be like fluff, but the content or the texture of it will be somewhere in the middle. The bulk of the accumulation occurs overnight tomorrow night into early Sunday and then lighter snows to follow probably by mid morning on Sunday and into the afternoon. We don't have to worry about ice or power outages for the most part because, you know, winds to 20 miles per hour and that snow isn't going to glom onto the uh, onto things. It's just a hazardous travel. We put uh, the heavy snow as our biggest threat, reducing visibility Saturday night into Sunday morning. Widespread 6 to 12 inches of snow across all of Western Mass, Worcester County, a good chunk of Connecticut, Rhode Island. It's along the shoreline that with water temperatures in the 40s, it would be kind of oscillating back and forth from snow to rain and probably ending as snow in the Boston area. The Cape will likely be all rain. Winds will start to pick up tomorrow, late in the day, into tomorrow night out of the northwest, gusting about 20, 25 miles per hour. Wind strongest out across the Cape where they're going to see all rain. Storm system moves out, so we should see no problems for our Monday morning commute. I mean, there'll be snow on the ground, but we'll have plenty of time to clear things away. So, yeah, probably not too many cancellations or delays on Monday. And then Tuesday, next storm moves in. Tuesday night and Wednesday, but that looks like mainly rain at this point. Perhaps a windswept rain. All right, another check of the forecast in a few minutes. It's 617. Amanda, to you. Dan, thanks. And Chickabee, the Parks and Rec Department is getting